and welcome back to Weekend Today in Central New York. Meet Matt Rosa, who is with Onondaga County's Division of Mental Health. Um, you may say, mental health, uh, what do I need to know about that? Well, there's a huge initiative going on, is there not? Exactly. Well, the Mental Health Association is working uh, to, uh, pr to encourage an initiative called uh, Before Stage 4, which is basically about thinking about mental health disorders in the same way that we would think about diabetes we had the tour de cure on right, earlier right. or uh, heart conditions where we think about the stages and we want people to receive care and supports at the earlier stages rather than at the later stages we certainly don't want someone with a heart condition to wait until they have a heart attack to receive care we would want them if they had high blood pressure for example to receive care to look at medications or lifestyle changes the same thing is the case with behavioral health issues with mental health issues if we wait until someone has a severe depression for example right and then they might need a more extensive uh, inpatient care. They might even get to the stage of being suicidal. What we want is for, when, uh, for someone who has earlier stage symptoms, some mild mood disorder, some mild depression or blue moods, to start to think about the kinds of supports that they might be able to receive to prevent those later stages, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, it makes dollars and cents, too, because if you treat when it's not critical, That's not right. only can you catch it and stop progression right. in many cases, uh, but people still have, oh, it's, it's no big deal. It's just, I'm just a little blue, as you say. That's or, right. uh, you know, I, I don't want people to know about it, too. There is a tremendous amount of stigma. The reality is that one in five people in any given year, if we took five people, one of those folks would have a, a mental health condition that would warrant treatment. About half of us in our country over the course of our lifetimes have mental health issues that, that require some supports and services. We're not necessarily saying that everyone needs to have medication or needs to see a therapist, but some kinds of supports, either from their social environment, from their natural mm -hmm. uh, community, from uh, their educational uh, situation, from their school, from, from their doctor, they could help them to uh, address their mood, address those, those mental health issues so that they can continue to achieve their goals, avoid disability. There's a lot of people who are out of work, for example, sure. who can't get to work because they're having anxiety or depression. And so if we can address those early, before stage four, then certainly, as you said, dollars and cents, we're then preventing all those very high cost uh, services and supports. And of course, most importantly, helping that person to maintain a healthy life and to achieve their goals. Good thoughts. And it's certainly food for thought. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of resources available already. Um, a lot of people don't realize. Um, for example, the contact hotline, which is a 24-hour line, is here. Um, Onondaga County has a whole setup also, and you can reach them at the ongov.net. Now, as we say, uh, this is, it says adult because that's where they are. But we're talking across the age spectrum, too. I mean, we're talking from kids all the way to older people. So so uh, there is help available there. And if you want to do a self-assessment, the Mental Health Association has a website where you can go, check it out, and get information that can help you be more prepared as well. Again, before stage four is the name of the initiative. Thank you so much for coming in and spreading a little bit of information. Thank you, Laura. Appreciate it.